Hello colleagues, I am Dr. Saura Patwadhan from Nandadipai Hospital, Sangli, India. And uh, at the outset, I would like to thank the organizers of COSCON for inviting me for this lecture. And uh, I'll be speaking on higher explantation techniques, which are very useful in our surgical armamentarium. So here is the presentation. Hello, I'm Dr. Saura Patwathan from Nandadip Eye Hospital, Sangli, India. And I'll be speaking in this video about different eye explantation techniques. Why, when and how we have to explant the eye well. So common indications for eye explantation is a damaged eye well, refractive surprise, a decentered or tilted eye well giving dysphotopsia or refractive errors, eye well causing recurrent inflammation including corneal decompensation, Sometimes in endophthalmitis you have to remove the IOL in toto. Also in case of dislocated IOL we have to exchange the IOL. Opacified IOL is another nuisance for which we have to remove. Also we have few patients who are unhappy with multifocal implants and we have to remove this IOL to make the patient more satisfied again. So what is a good time to explant IOL? It's never obviously a surgeon who has implanted the IOL doesn't want to explant it anytime. But if the IOL is in sulcus or angle, you can remove it anytime because it's not fixed to any ocular structures. But if the IOL is in the bag, then up to two months it's easier. After that, you have to decide case to case basis. So let's begin with some cases. This is a subluxated non foldable PMMA IOL. Now you cannot cut it and remove it from the incision so you have to make a scleral tunnel that's the best way to do and this is a nice technique to remove it just put a iris repositor underneath as a guide and then using Sinsky you can just glide the IOL through through the scleral tunnel this is an elegant way to avoid any iris damage during the procedure after removing the IOL if there is a vitreous disturbance it is must that vitrectomy is done it is important in any IL explantation or exchange technique that there should not be any presence of vitreous after the removal of IOL so this is another method of using two Sinsky to guide the IL out now in cases of decentered hydrophilic IL in this case it's a broken IOL and uh, the easier technique for beginners is to just make a scleral tunnel and uh, remove the IOL through this without cutting it. Now for hydrophilic IOLs, generally the material doesn't stick with the capsule so they are easier to remove but sometimes this fibrosis occurs over a period of time so it is important to be very patient and uh, release this IOL from the fibrosed area and try to preserve the bag. So be gentle with the bag because you don't want dialysis of the bag because in case of dialysis of the bag then you may have to resort to either an iris fixated IOL or a scleral fixated IOL because the bag is not stable now. So for hydrophilics I think it's easier to remove even late. Now this is better way of cutting the hydrophilic just cut it more than 50% and then just rotate this IOL through the small incision and take it out. This is a special MST Packer Chang forceps for cutting the IOL. It is important to give counter traction or support using either a Sinsky or you can use a forceps so that you can cut the IOL through and then you can remove either in two pieces or three pieces as you need and you can remove through 2.8 to 3 mm incision. This is an interesting case where initially the surgeon had put monofocal IOL but patient was not happy with the near vision and wanted to exchange it with a multifocal. Now in such cases when patient presents after two months it is important to separate this hydrophobic IOL from the bag. Sodium hyaluronate can be used to gently visco dissect the bag and then use the iris repositor to release the adhesions 
between the anterior and the posterior capsule and over the optic and then carefully dial each haptic out of the bag. For protection of the posterior capsule, you can also use the IL scaffold like you put the second IL in the bag before you remove the previously implanted IL. So this will protect the posterior capsule if you are worried about damaging the posterior capsule during IL cutting. Now this is a bigger IL cutting scissor by Epsilon. It's a little bit difficult to maneuver as compared to the MST scissor. And in these cases we can also remove a wedge of the hydrophobic IOL. Once you remove the triangular piece, you can just again rotate the IOL through the small incision and uh, take the IOL out. As previously shown, same thing can be done by the single cut as well which crosses the midpoint of the IOL. It is important to protect the endothelium in all the procedures using good dispersive viscoelastic agent. Now in this particular surgery, the initial surgery was done 3 months back and there was an extended rexis possibly and the IL was partially in the bag and partially in the sulcus and you can see that anterior capsule is not seen indicating very large capsular axis which led to tilt of the IOL. So this IOL exchange is being done after 3 months of the primary surgery but because there is no fibrosis around I could easily detach it from the bag and cut it using the MST forceps across the optic more than 50% and just pull out the IOL using the incision like hinge and just rotate it around it very carefully so that you don't damage the incision structure as well as the endothelium. Now this is an interesting case where IL exchange is being done almost after 20 years. This patient had undergone developmental cataract almost 20 years back and patient had developed minus 24 diopter refractive error. So the PMMA IL in the bag is a bit difficult to remove but you can remove it if you patiently maneuver it but uh, you have to be careful to avoid any capsular bag damage there but uh, with patience you can do it there are other options available for treating this such as a sulcoflex IOL or IPCL can be put in the sulcus but whenever possible you can always do IL explant so three important tips is use good viscodispersive agent to protect endothelium and posterior capsule. Use proper instrumentation and use the right technique. And you can achieve IL explantation or exchange in each and every case. And you can give safer and predictable vision to your patient. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation.